Hi everyone, my name is Deborah, and this is The Edit by ZH. You guys will probably have guessed that if anything is going to bring me out of hiding, it's going to be a Lisa Eldridge launch. And my God, what timing. So as many of you may or may not know, I traveled to Korea for one month. And during my time in Korea, I then learned that she was going to do a launch of 10 new lipsticks. Of course, it was when I was away and it was about two weeks before I was due to return so I thought I could easily get Lisa to ship the items to Korea with ample time to review it in Korea. Unfortunately, um, even though they do ship to Korea, I had such a palaver getting my items that it took two weeks in the end to get my items. Imagine I was getting proper FOMO um, from Instagram, seeing everybody get their not only get their deliveries, but get their deliveries super early. <laughs> and yet here I was stuck in Korea, um, unable to receive my goods. So I think in the end, I got my Lisa Eldridge goods the day before I was due to leave. So you can imagine I was kind of panicking because I thought I'm leaving tomorrow and I still haven't got my goods. But anyway, got it in the end. Um, thought, okay, I'll review it once I'm back in the UK. And as soon as I came back to the UK, I got COVID. So it's been really, really interesting time. Uh, and to be honest, even though I have tested negative now, I still have remnants of COVID. So you might, you may or may not hear. My voice is a little bit more raspy, a little bit gravelly. I don't know what word you want to use to describe it. Anyway, like I said, you knew that my love of Lisa would just get me out of hiding, get me out of my cave and review it for you. Many of you know that I am a huge Lisa Eldridge fan. I'm always going to review her launches. Unfortunately, this particular launch, it came a little bit late. I do intend to review her new shades of the uh, liquid eyeshadows. So I will review that at some point soon. In the meantime, let's get on with the video. I'm here to review the Luxuriously Lucent shades and the new Insanely Saturated shades. So with the Luxuriously Lucent shades, there are seven new shades which are joining um, shades such as Kitten Mischief, Spirited Away and Painterly. We all remember that launch. And then with the Insanely Saturated lip colors, there are new shades that are joining, for example, Rainbow Spill, Rainbow Spill and Skyscraper Rose. Um, and there's three new shades. So there's seven new shades of the Luxuriously Lucent, three new shades of the Insanely Saturated, meaning 10 new shades of the lipstick line this time. So when looking at the shades, I couldn't believe how many shades that I really liked. So normally I will get like a handful of new shades, um, Obviously, if it's Lisa Eldridge, I tend to get the majority of new shades, but I was hoping I wouldn't like it too much for the sake of my bank balance. And I watched Lisa Eldridge's video where she introduced the new shades. And I remember thinking, OK, I've got to get that shade. OK, and then I've got to get that shade. And then she showed the, new, the next shade and I was like, OK, I've got to get that too. And then before I knew it, I was pretty much buying the entire collection. So all in all, I got five of the luxuriously lucent shades and two of the insanely saturated, meaning I got, se meaning I got seven out of the ten new shades. So I got Wonder Wheel, Le Mepri, Rosy Shell, I got Palazzo and Je Ne Sais Quoi. And then in the Insanely Saturated, I got Sunday Matinee and Strawberry Shock. So I got every shade. What I didn't get was Meet Me in Berlin, which was more of a brownie shade, just, with, just simply because I just knew it wouldn't suit me. I just, it's not my go-to kind of shade and it would just be a waste because I knew I wouldn't wear it. Um, I also didn't get New Wave, which was sort of like a very purpley kind of colour. It again it's just not my kind of shade i've seen it by the way these all these colors that i didn't get on other people and it looks amazing but let's be real i know what suits me and what doesn't so and then lastly i didn't get night thoughts which is sort of like a darker shade um which actually is quite deceiving i have seen it on people where because it looks really dark in the bullet but when you apply it it's 
a nice almost like a, a tint of berry for example on some people but again it's just not a shade that I would naturally gravitate towards so I didn't get that shade but I will pop up colour references above so that you know which shades I'm talking about. So I thought I would start off with trying of the luxuriously lucent shades first before going on to the insanely saturated. As you know, I've had these lipsticks for a while and it has been so tempting to not open it and have a look at it and play with it, as you guys know. So. It's the first time I am seeing this on camera, so it's a first time reaction to them. So it comes in the standard classic packaging that's magnetic. And when you open it up, this is je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. So je ne sais quoi. So firstly, okay, observation here. When you look at it in the bullet and how it looks online, it's so different. So can we, can I just show you? So this is why you cannot go based off of what's online. Um, but that's why I tend to look at um, like arm swatches or lip swatches on people. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what it looks like in natural sunlight. So I will try it on first and then I will talk about it. Wow. So, with every lipstick colour, I will show you a stained version of it, and then I will show you a pow version of it. This is a stained version of Je ne sais quoi. Very pretty, very wearable, very everyday colour. But if I build it up, It is such a lovely, lovely summer colour. But you know some summer colours, they are very punchy and in your face and they're great if it, the sun is shining, it's like 30 degrees outside, you're drinking an Aperol spritz. But thereafter, every season after, you look at it and you're like, God, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear this in the autumn, spring or, or winter. Whereas even though this is a summer colour, I could easily still see myself wearing this throughout the other seasons. And how it's described is a warm, creamy coral. On the website, it says its summery magic lies in the duality of its vibrancy and subtlety. Somehow this lively shade, it definitely is, manages to brighten the face without being an overtly bright shade. That's exactly what I was talking about. So it is a brightening shade. It's a summer shade, but it doesn't look too shocking or electric. Luxuriously lucent lip colour is a sheer to semi-sheer buildable coverage lipstick with a satin finish. So we can see that. We saw how it could work as a sheer sort of like tint and then how it could be built up to a more dramatic lip colour. And it does have a satin finish because there's a sheen to it. It delivers with one swipe, it does. Or you can build the colour to create a more radiantly polished look. This ultra modern, comfortable and luxurious texture feels smooth, light and pleasurable on the lips. So this cruelty free product is vegan and free from parabens, talc, fragrance, nylon 12, D6, D5, gluten and silicones. It's £26 and it's 3.5 grams. So obviously this is going to be the case for all the lipsticks that I am reviewing today, as in £26 and 3.5 grams. If it's anything else, I will let you know. Next up is Rosy Shell. Now this is a sh colour that looks so pretty online and being completely honest, if I had seen this bullet in the shop, I wouldn't have gravitated towards it naturally, but because I saw arm swatches and things like that, that's why I decided to get it. So again, let me try it on as a stain and then I'll try it on as a full pigmented lip colour. So this is rosy shell as sort of like a stain and it's super pretty, super girly. And then I'll try it on as full pigment. And this is rosy shell in its full glory. 
being completely honest, I prefer this as a lip stain colour than I do in its full moment. But it's, I still really like the colour. Needless to say, there are a lot of lipstick shades, which even if you look at the arm swatches, even if you look at the lip swatches, it's going to look so different to somebody who's of a different um, ethnicity to you, someone who might be the same ethnicity, but they have a different undertone. You know, some people have naturally, um, they naturally have colour to their lips, like a just bitten lip colour, whereas mine is very pale. I don't have any colour to my lips. So it's going to look different to me how it looks to some people. So it's really, really hard and really the only way you can get a true understanding of how the colour will look on you is to just try it in person. So really that's where the pop-up store is really, really clever because where it's an, mainly an online or predominantly an online business, it's so, so hard to, you know, you have people, yes, loads of people buying colours, but then they might return it. And there's no kind of one colour suits all. I don't believe in that. Unfortunately, it's not the case. So it's going to maybe suit a majority of people, but not everybody. So that's why when you try it on yourself, you'll realise. And, you know, the pop-up store that's currently in Covent Garden, it's her second pop-up store. I believe it's open until September. It's if you can somehow go there. I know it's so hard for those who aren't in the UK or who can't travel to London. But if you can, you know, go in, disinfect those babies and just try them on. Um, because that's the only way you'll realise if it suits you or not. It says, this delicate coastal pink hue of rosy cup seashells are brought to lucent life in this deliciously pretty shade. A light pink with a mix of cool and warm undertones. Rosy shell is a picnic on the beach in July without the sand in your sandwiches. I love how it's um, described. So yeah, definitely, it, I can, to be honest, I feel like I can see more of the cool tone like the blue undertone than the warm tones but like I said I do like it I just prefer it as a lip stain but what do you guys think let me know as I go along and try all these different lip colors just let me know what you think what suits me whether it's super different on you um, and what your personal favorites are next I'm going to try one of the more nudier tones called Le Mepri so this is what it looks like in the bullet just to say as well I will do swatches for you at the end on my hand, but I just wanted to just try them on. Most of you are here just to see what it looks like on for now. So I'll try it on first and then I'll do hand swatches for you at the end. This is what Le Mepri looks like. So as a stain, obviously it's not a strong color. It's a nudie color, so it's not very impactful, um, but I still like it as a subtle shade um but let's try it on again properly i really love it it's not a color i would gravitate towards during the day it's actually a night color for me and what i mean by that is when i have a smoky eye and really want to balance it out with a nudier lip this is definitely the perfect shade of nude. It's not too cool. You know, cool um, undertoned nudes tend to make me look like a dead carcass. So this is really the ideal shade. So it says about Le Mepri that it's a sublimely nuanced but wearable, soft beigey hue that's straight out of a Jean-Luc Godard masterpiece. Think Brigitte Bardot, tuzzled bouffant hair and kissable lips. I mean, definitely but with Bridget Bardot it's still very um some of her nude lips have looked a bit concealery and what I mean by that is like it looks like they've literally applied concealer to the lips to really give her the nude effect whereas this still gives you life like I am a lot more tanned if you guys haven't noticed already I'm a lot more tanned than I normally am it was super hot in Korea I know you the UK my UK friends had a heat wave whilst I was away um, but yeah I was I got tanned in Korea like you can see it with my hand anyway I, I personally like a tan because it's it looks healthy in my opinion but even with a tan my point is this nude is doesn't wash me out so I really really love it 
So next up we have Wonder Wheel, which is like a in your face colour. It's very, very bright. Um, so let's again try it on. So this is Wonder Wheel as a stain, a very, very light stain. And it's really pretty. I can easily see like if you want a colour that just gives you a pop of life just before you're about to pop to Sainsbury's, this is it. So you could even like easily use it to just dab onto your cheeks to give you a very pretty rosy flush look. So this is Wonder Wheel. It's a really gorgeous summer colour. To be honest, when I saw this colour on line, it gave me more sort of watermelon vibes, colour wise. In person, it gives me more, slightly more fuchsia vibes. I can't explain it. But even so, I still really like it. And again, it's one of those lipsticks that sort of brightens the complexion. So it says, roll up, roll up for this deliciously juicy popsicle pink shade. A mouth-watering, a mouth-wateringly vibrant reddish pink that alights lips with all the heady, nostalgic fun of the Ferris wheel. So just to give you um, an idea of what I'm talking about. Do you, do you see? I don't know, you guys might say it looks similar. But when I look at this shade, it's a bit more like orangey red. Whereas... On me, it's, that's on the Asian model. On me, it's a bit more pinky. Anyway, it's still a pretty color. Um, and I can definitely, you know what it is guys? I'm actually going to Venice in August um, to celebrate wedding anniversary um i have been to venice twice although i was quite young so i don't remember a lot i don't remember the details whereas it'll be my other half's first time in venice so we're really looking forward to it especially to celebrate our wedding anniversary and i have visions of wearing all these colors in venice i just feel like they're very venetian colors and um in my mind i'm envisioning like wearing a really gorgeous evening gown with one of those Venetian masks and then those lipsticks just shine through um, and I feel like I'm in a like a Dolce & Gabbana advert whereas in fact in reality I probably look like a potato be sweating profusely with hair like Monica from Friends so regardless in my mind I can see me wearing these shades in Venice so I I really like it so this is Palazzo and this really reminds me of a Venetian red where I can imagine wearing it to the opera house. Again, it looks different to the shade online, but I won't keep harping on about it. Let me just try it. So this is a stain of Palazzo, a very respectable shade, um, but let me try it on properly. So this is Palazzo and <clears throat> it's a very gorgeous, decadent, rich lip shade. Just to say, all of the luxuriously lucent lipsticks have been going on like a dream. They're very easy to apply. You don't really need a lip liner. Like I haven't used a lip liner in any of these. I haven't used a lip brush. Obviously, if you are a perfectionist, like if I'm going out, I would definitely be more of a perfectionist. I definitely would bring out the lip pencil, the lip brush for precision, especially for a color like this. And out of all the shades that I got, this was probably the most difficult to apply just because of the, the color. Any statement lipstick colors generally are a little bit more messy anyway. So they have been really easy to apply overall because the lipstick itself is sturdy and hard enough to give you control. And then the tip, it's like, it gives you the precision to line the lips. And then because it's creamy, it doesn't drag, but it's not so creamy or glossy 
that it starts like moving all over the place. Having said that, if you were to have a, a bowl of spaghetti bolognese right now, it would go everywhere. Um, just because it is that creamy formula. But generally, if you're just sort of sitting down, chatting, drinking, coffee, it'll be fine. It's just the, the messier stuff like eating where it would go everywhere. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. In terms of inspiration, it says, take a Roman holiday with this rich, deep, neutral red inspired by the interiors of the richly decorous palaces of Italy. There you go. As regal as a Renaissance portrait, yet as exhilarating as a ride through Rome on a Vespa. That felt like a tongue twister. Um, so yeah, it's, it, is, it is a gorgeous colour and it does remind you of Italy. Now I'll move on to the insanely saturated. By the way, I have the windows open, so if you hear any children, people playing peekaboo with their children, um, any sirens, I live in London, any aeroplanes, clearly the Heathrow or Gatwick flight path passes over here. Um, if you hear any cows mooing, don't ask, like, it is what it is, windows are open because it's a warm day, but just wanted to make you aware. But like I said, I got two shades from the Insanely Saturated Lipsticks. I think I will go for Sunday Matinee first because it's more of a neutral pink shade. And then I'll go for the Strawberry Shock, which is has to be the colour, honestly, when I saw online, it excited me the most. But anyway, let's try the Sunday Matinee. So just to explain, the, the Insanely Saturated Lip Colour is pigmented and creamy. It's a truly dreamy texture that glides on seamlessly and gives 100% full coverage with a demi-matte finish and weightless fill. It can also be put on as a light stain for a more subtle effect. So, it's slightly different finish, whereas the Luxuriously Lucent was more of a satin, creamy, shiny finish. This is a demi-matte, so it's not quite full matte, but it's more of a matte finish. So this is as a stain, absolutely stunning. Now let me put it on properly. I love this colour. I absolutely love this colour. It's so, so, so gorgeous. And it's my kind of shade. It's like bright enough without being in your face. Um, and it just gives you a little bit of zhuzh. This is described as a soft, pouty, medium pink with a hint of warmth, never washed out or too try hard. It's as insouciant and laid back as a Sunday spent watching your favourite classic film. Well, pouty, I would agree with. That's exactly the perfect word for this lipstick and I absolutely adore it. By the way, I love the way that Lisa Eldridge describes stuff. Insouciant, dreamy, delicious, juicy. Last but not least is the colour, like I said, that I was most looking forward to, which is Strawberry Shock. And I can tell that I'm already going to like it just from looking at the shade in the bullet. So let me try it on as a stain first. Again, very pretty colour, but we all know what's about to come when it goes full pigment. How stunning is this shade guys? Strawberry Shock. I knew I would love it. Um, it's just such a gorgeous colour and guess what? It would look fantastic in Venice. Wouldn't it though? Wouldn't it? Anyway, I am in love with this colour. Like I could see myself wearing this with like a slinky black dress, but equally with like a white shirt, jeans and converse. It's one of those colours that would just instantly give you like a glamour factor as soon as you wear it. So this is described as a sun filtered red that hides a dash of shocking punk pink extremity at, it is, at its heart. A bright, shouty strawberry daiquiri hue that instantly energises. A true Goldilocks of bright reds is neither too cool or too warm. Who writes these descriptions for Lisa, honestly? I mean, it's very dramatic, but I, I do enjoy reading it. It's, it's, it's interesting to read and it goes beyond, you know, 
a bright pink, you know, it is, it gives you a story and it actually makes you imagine where the inspiration has come from all these different shades. By the way, I said it earlier, saying it again, 26 pounds for 3.5 grams of product. Um, it's the same with the Luxuriously Lucent as it is with the Insanely Saturated. If you are somebody that has dry lips or dry texture on your lips, you will probably prefer the Luxuriously Lucent just because it's a lot more creamier, it's a lot more kind and hydrating on your lips. It just feels more hugged and there's a lot more glide and slip and slide. Um, so it's just a lot more comfortable. Whereas with the Insanely Saturated, it's yes, it's described as a demi matte, but at the same time, it's still a matte. So if you don't like that matte texture that slightly feels like it's drying on the lips, it's not, by the way, it is really comfortable to wear, but only if you like matte lipsticks. If you're a matte lipstick lover like I am, it's very comfortable. If you normally like something that has a sheen to it, it's creamy, it's glossy, you're not necessarily going to be as comfortable with this finish. I have to say from the whole collection, in terms of the luxuriously lucent, Lemme Pri was my favourite colour. And then with the Insanely Saturated, I'm obsessed with the Sunday Matinee and the Strawberry Shock. Last but not least, as I promised, I'm going to do a hand swatch. I'll do the hand swatches of the Luxuriously Lucent first. This is Je Ne Sais Quoi. Actually, I did like Je Ne Sais Quoi as well. This is Rosy Shell. This is Le Mepri. This is Wonder Wheel. And this is Palazzo. On my hand, Wonder Wheel and Je Ne Sais Quoi look quite similar. The only difference is Je Ne Sais Quoi is more of a coral and Wonder Wheel is definitely more of a pink. So that's the hand swatches of the five luxuriously lucent shades that I got. And then last but not least, hand swatches of the Insanely Saturated. Sunday Matinee. I'm currently wearing on my lips, Strawberry Shock. I'm obsessed. I love Lisa's mattes, but I actually want her to bring out more shades in this insanely saturated i'm obsessed with this range so lisa if you're watching this please give us more shades i will be going to lisa eldridge's pop-up store soon to film a video most likely it will be on instagram not 100 percent sure yet in case you aren't following me already on Instagram, I will pop my Instagram handle up, up above. I do try to do slightly different content on both platforms, um, just so that you're, if you're following me on both, you don't get bored of the same thing. Um, but I will also review the liquid eyeshadows. Keep your eyes open. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, follow me, click for updates and notifications. Um, I will be going very, very soon to get the new shades. I have literally just been waiting to get out of self-isolation and get rid of this damn COVID. But otherwise, um, I'm back, I'm ready to go. I know I keep saying in every video, but I do have so much content coming up, guys. So thank you for those who continue to support me, who continue to send me lovely messages and words of encouragement. It really does mean so, so, so much to me. And especially times like this, when I have been feeling quite sorry for myself, um, laying in bed, feeling really unwell, to receive your messages over Instagram or YouTube with your comments, it literally brightens my day. It literally does. So thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys more often with more videos. Uh, in the meantime, please, please take care of yourselves, stay healthy, and I will catch up with you soon. you I don't want you to have it